five must know secrets about child support rorts. That's right, you heard me. A lot of people rort the system with child support and I want to share with you five of these rorts. There's so many of them, but today I just wanna go through five and give you the heads up so that you're prepared, you know about them, you can avoid them, you can possibly use them, but I wanna share them with you. Let's Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time, I'm Lisa Dixon and I'm I'm your divorce expert. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell button so you get free divorce expert advice like child custody, child alimony and financial settlements. Now let's get straight into it. Number one is all about the time that you spend with the children. If you're not spending that much time, you can increase the time. That affects the formula for child support. And a lot of people wrought the system with the time calculation. So keep that in mind. If you've only got the children for a short amount of time, say 10%, look at increasing it. That's one of the ways that child support can be improved. Number two, number two is all about self-employed or using another vehicle like a company in terms of how you can funnel your income through it. Now this child support rort is well known, everybody knows about it, they use companies, trusts, self-employed financial books. Have a think about that, are you on a salary, are you on a paycheck weekly, are you being paid cash? Have a think about the vehicle that you can use to possibly help that formula for child support. One of the stories I wanted to share with you today was a Californian woman who after 50 years, 50 years after her divorce, she was able to claim back 153,000 US child support from her ex. Her ex had moved to Canada, he then came back to the States and when he came back, she had kept every document, every piece of evidence and she was able to go to court and she got paid. And I wanted to share that with you because that just shows how important it is in terms of keeping evidence and in terms of child support and child support rorts and the way that he had got away with it for so long. And it can be either gender, male or female. I'm not being specific. I just wanna share the facts with you. That's a really interesting story about the statute of limitations because there was no statute of limitations in California. So she was able to bring that case up 50 years later. Now of course not every story has a happy ending like that. You may be struggling, you know, may know people who are struggling and you know your child support may be downgraded and you have no idea why. The reason for that is get on the phone. Find out why. See if you can lodge an application. See if you can lodge um, a substantiation or proof of income for the other side. That is another way around it because I do have so many people that come to me and child support is a key factor. Number three is all about making a binding child support agreement. Now there's nothing to stop the two of you from making your own agreement to working out how much time, when, where, what specifically will be included, Mother's Day, birthdays, Christmas, vacations, special events, grandparents' time. There's nothing to stop you from making an agreement between the two of you. And that can affect your child support payments. And you can even agree privately what those payments are. The key is, the trick is, it has to be legal. You have to have it signed off. You have to have it legally binding so that it stands up for any child support agency, no matter which country you're in. But that is a very common technique to use. So that's number three. Number four about child support rorts. This one, I wish it was used more, but when it is used, I'm so pleased with the results. It's all about getting some financial advice, getting some tax accounting advice on your situation, your income, your expenses, and that helps your 
formula. It helps how you liaise with the child support agency, no matter which country you're in. It's the same formula worldwide. It's the same technique that each agency looks at. They look at time, they look at income, they look at how much money it costs, the expenses for the children, what they're used to. All of those things are really important. And if you don't have advice now, I strongly suggest you get some advice. Get someone to help you with that. Number five, Another tip, number five, is all about cash is king. Cash, 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 income. Now, we all know that how much child support you have to pay is based on your income. If your income is 200,000, for instance, we all know that your child support payments are gonna be a lot higher. If you are paid cash a lot, then that doesn't necessarily, well, I'm not gonna say, but it just affects your formula. So that can help with your formula and keep it down. If you keep your income down, then your child support payments are also affected. Now I'm sharing all of this with you because then you know you've got the heads up with the other side. I'm Lisa Dixon, talk to you soon.